Hello and welcome to this Season 1 Week 9 BOP Tier List video. This week's data was captured Thursday evening CST using the iRacing Reports Discord, link below. Alright, starting off with the Touring Car Challenge, this week it goes to the free track, Okuyama. And for the fixed series, the Elantra continues to dominate going S+. The other three cars, however, are extremely close this week, with the Veloster B+, and the RS3 and Civic both going B. So here's your Touring Car Challenge fixed tier list for this week at Okiyama. And for the Open Series, as we have seen before this season, the Open Setup adjustments spreads the field quite a bit. The Elantra still maintains an S Plus status. The Veloster moves up into the one second window to the Elantra median pace, going A. However, the RS3 and Civic, the Delta gap is even greater here, with the RS3 in a C and the Civic going D. And here's your Touring Car Challenge open setup tier list for this week at Okuyama. I'm right, moving to the GT4 series, which goes to the free track as well this week, Sakuba. And for the fixed series and what might be the most even BOP we've seen all season, all cars are under a half second off from each other in the median average lap pace. Thus, I got the Porsche finally moving out of the bottom tiers to an A+. The Aston Martin, the McLaren, and Mercedes all going A, with the BMW going A-. So here's your GT4 Challenge fixed tier list for Sukuba. And for the Open Series, some minor adjustments here, but relatively all cars are still highly competitive with the Open setups. The Mercedes moves back into the top spot going A+. The Porsche, McLaren, and Aston Martin all go A, with the BMW dropping to a B+. So here's your GT4 Challenge Open tier list for this week at Sukuba. Okay, next up is the GT3 Challenge Fixed. But before we look at this week's results, I just want to quickly show last week's tier list at Interlagos, as I was unable to shoot a video last week. And as most know by this point, it was a great track for the BMW and McLaren, while the rest of the field were a few steps down, but close to each other in the B and C tiers, even the Ford doing well. Now for this week, the GT3 Challenge Fixed goes to Bathurst, AKA Mount Panorama Circuit. Now, the skewing and the number of outliers this week do seem to tell a tale of just how challenging this course is. But one car is just dominating here, and it might surprise you, as the McLaren takes an S+, plus as a clear front runner this week. The next closest car just on the edge of the one-second window is the BMW going A. The Ferrari, the only other car with a median time in the second of the BMW, goes A-. I then got the Mercedes with a B, the Lambo, Porsche, and Ford all C, with the Audi on a struggle bus with the fixed setups going D. Now do consider before buying that McLaren or jumping into one of these other top tier cars, I highly recommend sticking with a car you're most comfortable driving here this week as it's a battle of attrition out there, especially in the lower splits. And I kind of walk the walk here this week as I take that Audi out into the fixed series. As you can see in this video I shot earlier this week, I'll link up in the top right corner. But here's your GT3 Challenge Fixed tier list for this week at Mount Panorama. Just a quick note, if you enjoy this BOP video, drop the hammer on that like and sub button if you haven't already. And if you would like to show a little bit more support for the work I put into these types of videos, there's also the super thanks and join buttons below. All right, now let's see how the BOPs pan out in the GT3s in a 40 minute open setup VRS sprint race. And again, first I do want to take a quick look to show last week's results at Interlagos here. Here are the McLaren swaps with the BMW for the overall top spot compared to the fixed series, while the Audi improves with setup adjustments and the mark falls a little bit to a D. Okay, back to this week. So if you are not aware, this weekend is another iRacing special event with the 12 hours of Bathurst. Thus, a special BOP has been applied to this week's VRS sprint race. However, it is important to note that midweek this week, final BOP adjustments were made. Thus, the results you see here are a combo of different BOPs and may not be very reliable, unfortunately. As a result, I can't really put together any type of accurate tier list this week. I will say as of Friday, the top splits were predominantly Porsche, Ferrari, BMWs with some McLaren still mixed in to give you somewhat of an idea. And maybe next week's data, if I am able to get it, I'll show what the actual of hours of Bathurst BOP was. Okay, moving on. And again, here with the IMSA Haggerty, as with the GG3 series, I want to quickly look back at last week's results where the IMSA Haggerty series was at VIR. Here are the top cars in the A tier with the Audi and Lambo, followed by the strong showing from the Porsche and BMW, with the Merck and Ferrari rounding out the bottom in C tier. Okay, and for the multi-class open setup IMSA Haggerty series, it goes to Nuremberg Ring GP for this week. Here we seem to have a tale of two tiers, as the Lamborghini goes S tier with the BMW A, 
and the Audi A-, both within that one second window from the Lambo. And well outside that window, I got the Ferrari in a C tier with a Mercedes and Porsche taking a D tier. So here's your IMSA Haggerty Series a GT3 tier list for this week at Nuremberg Ring Grand Prix. Last but not least, I'll quickly hit the European Sprint Series, which goes to Rotolando this week. And unfortunately, data is on the low side again for this series, but here's the data so far for your judgment. So there you have it, folks. Please go check out one of my other most recent videos up in the right-hand corner. And when I do stream, I do some of my longer official races in league racing here on this channel and also other various games outside of racing over my other YouTube channels. Links below for that, as well as my other socials. And then until next time, safe driving.